Hi and welcome to this um, this next Substance Painter tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be creating a hard surface brush um, with an alpha in uh, Substance Painter only uh, and then you know, using that as a brush. So just as uh, an example of what you'll see, this is what we're going to make. Uh, so I've made a brush and whoops, if I don't press that button or press the right button, uh, I can now stamp that brush on any texture surface to add some uh, detail into my model without extra geometry etc and if I switch out to the normal channel if I can see it there it is you'll see that it's painting in normal details um, you know straight onto your texture and I can put this in as many places you know and as many sizes as I as I like um, and the benefit is that I can make my own normal brushes which is perfect uh, you get some with um, substance but um, you know there's only so many times you can use the same thing uh, and this gives you full creative control over what you want so I hope you find it useful and I'll talk to you in the next bit okay so to make a, uh, a brush uh, with a normal and an alpha uh, that we can mix up with other materials um, it's fairly straightforward but first I need a plane so I'm going to go File and New and I've created a plane, uh, just quite a high res plane in the background, it's a uh, metre by a metre and I'm going to import that in. And I'm going to set my texture resolution to 2048, so that's going to give me a 2048 uh, size image uh, which is you know like a good resolution for uh, a nice normal stamp. Uh, so we'll leave it DirectX, everything else is fine and I'll click OK. And then for the sake of normality, I'm just going to bake my texture set, even though it's a flat plane. Uh, some things uh, are really much happier if you do that. So let's just bake that out. So it shouldn't take a second, it's a flat plane. Okay, come on, there we go. Right, so what do we need? What we need is uh, a number of things. We need an alpha to block out the shape of our uh, piece. Uh, we need some height and that's about it. So to start with I'm going to delete this layer and pop in a fill and this fill is just going to be for colour so I'll turn everything else off and whoops uh, just pop that to black because that's going to be our cut out our alpha anything white we put on this is going to you know be included in our brush. Uh, so on top of that I'll add a paint layer and here's where we're going to uh, basically brush our alpha in. So I've just got to the top view by uh, rotating and then having shift down to snap. And for my brush, I'm just going to uh, put in a little bit of, whoops, where are we? Come on, just height and normal. So this is going to define our general shape and then we're going to add on top of it later to give it some details. So the base colour I'm going to leave as white because that's what we need and then my uh, height colour uh, or my height setting um, I'm going to go positive and I generally like to go to about a half because that gives a nice kind of outline. Okay so now I need to decide what you know what I'm going to uh, make and I'm going to make like a a plate but I'll give it a little bit of shape so for that I'm going to select the basic hard brush and then I'm going to go to my alphas and then pick out an alpha so I want to like a hexagon shape perhaps uh, might take me a minute to find these there's all sorts of stuff in here uh, well okay let's use this one that's a good start so if I scale this up, you'll find at some point in time it stops getting bigger. Uh, that's not a problem. We can make it go bigger than that. And that's just because the brush setting size is set to, uh, in this case, object. So if I align that to texture instead, you'll see I get a much bigger brush. So there we go. Um, now, is this... No, it's not. Uh, well, no. no. Perhaps it is, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, no, it's angled at zero. It just looks like it's a bit wrong to me. 
Uh, so I'm just going to stamp that down a couple of times. So just click, 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 and then we've got our basic uh, basic shape. So that's our alpha. Um, if we look in the channels here, we should have just black and white in the base color, and in the height we'll have a, a grey, and that gives us a chance to you know go up or down uh, with our details. Uh, we're going to go up, we're going to put some bolts on, maybe a scratch or two. Uh, okay, so we'll do that in the next bit. Okay, so for the next piece of the puzzle, I'm just going to put this back to material. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer. So let me just lay, uh, label this one uh, base and alpha. If I spelled that right, yes I have. Okay and I'll create a fill layer over that and this is our, going to be our uh, kind of height details and I'll call it height details uh, positive so plus and the reason I say that is because I might have another one uh, with height details negative so for this layer uh, I don't want color I just want height so everything else off and for my height, I'm going to set it higher than my base layer. Um, so my base layer is like a mid value of uh, 5. And now I'm at the max value of uh, 1. So that's where I want it. And now I'm just going to paint some uh, bolts on this, hopefully. And if I go up to the top, I want the basic soft. Where is that? Let's just type soft. There we go, basic soft. Okay, so wherever uh, I paint on this, uh, nothing will happen because it's a fill layer. So I'm going to right click on there and add a black mask. And in this case, I don't need to add anything to it because this is automatically set to paint. I'm going to turn uh, X on and I can see that my center line isn't in the right place. So I believe uh, if I go into mirror settings, I can actually move that line to somewhere a little bit closer. Uh, that seems too much. So let's try two. And that looks about right. OK, so now if I put a few clicks on that corner, a few clicks on that one, perhaps one on that one and a couple on that one. We now have bolts, uh, but there's no color information. It's just all going into the height. So if I go to my uh, height channel, see I've got uh, gray, which is my mid, and I've got white, which is my height, which is my max, if you like. So back to material. <coughs> and this time I'm going to duplicate this layer. And this will be our negative layer, a negative height. So as soon as I can find duplicate, there it is. I can clean my uh, mask, uh, so remove mask, and then I'll just pop a new one back on again. But for this layer, I'm going to go negative, and I'm just going to go perhaps negative 0.25. Don't worry about these numbers, you know, this is just me, uh, you know, working and experimenting. You know, when you, uh, when you come to do it yourself, you know, you'll find your own numbers. So I'm going to click on there, this time I'm going to turn symmetry off and I'm going to get a scratch brush up, uh, S-C-R-A-T-C-H. So we have all sorts of scratches, uh, this one seems to be a kind of uh, generated one so I'm just going to start to click in there and nothing's happening which is terrific. So let's go and have a look at the mask to see if anything's actually happening. No, it isn't, so that one's not working. Let's try five. Oh, I can see it is working, it's just very, very small. Uh, or very, very faint, rather. So let me scratch in a few times. Perhaps I'll go bigger. There we go, now we can see something. There we go. It scratches all over. And if I go to my... Uh, la, 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 height map we should see that there are some dark values in there and they're not showing up very much because I only put a value of 0.25 in here 
phi uh, set it to point uh, negative minus five they should show up a bit better <coughs> okay so this is the basics um, the next thing is uh, to actually convert this into a normal map uh, which we'll do in the next section Okay, so now we need a new layer. Uh, just know I've renamed this to height details uh, minus, just so I know. Uh, so I'm going to add a new layer, and this one I'm going to call uh, normal. Uh, on this layer, I'm going to turn everything off except normal, because it's the only thing that's going to be in there. And I'm going to right click and add a filter. So the filter to pick is height to normal and you'll notice immediately that absolutely nothing happens. So if I drop this down and pick normal, you'll see there's nothing there. Um, and that's because there is no height like, no height information on this layer. And we need to fool it into thinking there is. So I'm gonna switch over to my height channel and then on my uh, layer mixing property, uh, I'm gonna change it to pass through. And that will pick up all of the uh, detail below it and apply it to my normal. Uh, so if I go back to uh, my material view, you should see it actually looks quite exaggerated now. And if I turn this off, you'll see that it's not. And that's because we're mixing a height and a normal. The height and the normal are, you know, open multiplying each other and you know that's a little bit annoying um, and if we go to the normal channel there we go now it's uh, calculated it out nicely we can see it and we have some controls here uh, so we've got a surface detail so if we take that up you might see that that softens up a bit and if you increase that it hardens again and if you bring it down you know it's going to affect the strength so I'm just gonna uh, take it up somewhere around there uh, but I do generally like to have a higher surface level it just softens it up and makes it a bit uh, a bit nicer I think personally but it's up to you okay so now uh, we have everything we've got our alpha uh, we've got our normal and that's essentially all we need to do the job so in the next one what we'll do is we'll export it and then we'll create a brush uh, using them and uh, go from there so i'll talk to you then right so we need to export these uh, and that's straightforward we can go file and export textures and uh, I've got the PBR metallic roughness uh, basics on there, PNG 8 bits. And uh, I've got a directory. So let's go and find a directory to put it in. Uh, la, 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 la. You'll see the one I made earlier. And uh, I'll select that folder. And then under the texture actual texture set itself, I don't want anything except for the normal and the base color. Because the base color will be our alpha and the normal will be our uh, you know hard surface stamp uh, so let's export those there we go export and if i open that directory i can see i've got my alpha there and i've got my uh, high, high res plane uh, i'm just going to close this now because now i'm going to import them back in again so first of all i'm going to turn off my uh, filter up there and then I'm going to grab both these and drag them in. Now, normally I would just set these both to texture, but in this case, I need to set my base color to be an alpha, and then the um, the normal to be a texture. And I'm going to import them into my library, uh, into my assets, because uh, I don't want them to go away. I'm going to use them as a brush. And if I just put them into a temporary set, I'm going to lose it somewhere along the line. Uh, so if I click import, uh, I'll get a nice filter up here to show me what's going on. Right, so let's have a look. 
what do we need to do now? Well, uh, we can get rid of all this, but before you do, uh, save it. So, uh, save. And this is my, uh, how can I put it, hard surface template. Because I can come in here at any time and change everything. I can create a different alpha, I can create different height details and different uh, you know, plus or minus height details and convert it to an alpha and export it and make a whole new brush. And I don't have to do all the setting up again. Um, okay, so in the next one, what we'll do is I'm going to come in and we're going to use these two images we've just made uh, to make a hard surface um, stamp brush, which we can use over and over again. So I'll talk to you then. Okay, so I've just uh, cleared my filter, so uh, I'll show you how to not lose them. Um, so what we're going to need to do is just start a new project. So I'm going to go File, New, I'm going to use the same plane again, and 2048, and OK. Do a quick bake. Uh, I'm not really too fussed about the settings here, so I'm just going to let it go. Okay, so what I want to do is use that in a brush. So I have a brush layer here. So if you haven't, just add it with the brush uh, there. And now we can set this brush up. So the first thing I want to do is select my material. So I'm going to go to my material and probably select something from the steel area. So I'm going to select steel rough. So that's going to provide the color information for, uh, for what we're doing. And then at the bottom, I just need to make sure uh, actually steel rough is not going to work for me because I can't flip out the normal uh, so let's clear that one out and we'll just get one of the other metal ones uh, da -da -da -da. I know, aluminium uh, there we go so let's do aluminium so now I can add the normal channel which is important because we want to stamp our normal and we also need to change out our alpha because we have a different shape. So go to your alphas folder and in there uh, I want to find it. It's in there somewhere I know it is uh, but I know what it's called and you know you could be more sensible than I am and rename these before you import them. Uh, I know there you'll start with high plane so I'm going to type in high plane and there it is. So I'm going to drag and drop my alpha into there and then for the height map I need the normal in there and they're in the textures so again I'll type in high plane and I'll get my normal and I'll drag and drop that into the normal slot and now if I draw this up nice uh, and I draw it in we have a plane you know we have a little plate with some uh, scratches and bits and bobs on it and we've got our uh, bolts or uh, fixings, rivets, you know, however you build them at the corner. And that's essentially it. Um, we can save this brush, we can do all sorts of things, you can, you know, make them far more complicated than I am. I've kind of simplified it down for demonstration purposes. Um, you know, you can use all sorts of techniques to make your own hard stamps. And not only your own hard stamps, you know, the benefit here is that these are hard stamps with their own alpha. So it's not painting around, you know, the rest of the, uh, the rest of the, the rest of the brush area. <laughs> and of course, you don't have to have it that size, you know, I can make it much smaller. You know, we can go really small if we want to. And they're still pretty good. So yes, there you go, that's the technique. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions for me, ask in the uh, comments below. And uh, yeah, I hope to talk to you in another video set. <laughs>